It's been two years since the Vermont legislature actually met in person, where they actually came to the Capitol to do anything because COVID. There's something that got them back, though. Got them all back to vote in person. What do you think it is? Let me tell you. This is from WCAX, our local, uh, one of our local news channels. Quote, it was the first time lawmakers were back at the state house since the pandemic broke out. Senate lawmakers met in a hybrid format. All 150 House members met in person because their last adjournment resolution didn't give them the tools to meet remotely. It was all to pass one bill already agreed on by Governor Phil Scott, allowing towns to pass their own mask mandates for 30-day increments until the end of April and schools are exempt. Why? What about the children? The first round of mask mandates would last 45 days, however. So this is what got our elected representatives to get off their asses, off their couches, and back into the House so they could vote almost two years into this nonsense to allow cities and towns in our state to impose their own mask mandates on buildings. <laughs> what do we elect these people for? And what kind of conservative is Phil Scott, our governor? Phil? Are you ever going to be a break on anything the leftist Democrats do? No? Okay, just checking in. For more conversation on the dark and disordered psychology that shapes today's cultural and political left, subscribe to our weekly audio podcast on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Google Podcasts, and virtually anywhere else you get your podcasts. Let's learn to recognize these dynamics and call them what they are. Subscribe to Disaffected to learn how to break the spell.